one thing you may not know about me is that I am obsessed with cookbooks. I read two or three a week and I have an entire collection at home. I'm talking floor to ceiling shelves. By the way, that's one corner. There's like many more walls of it. Okay, so I wanna create a place where we can all share our love of cookbooks together. So this is Cookbook Club. Oh, I uh, kinda couldn't have wished for a more incredible person to kick this signature segment off with. He is a legend in the food world and has the biggest heart ever. His organization, World Central Kitchen, has served more than 40 million fresh meals to people around the world impacted by natural disasters and other crises. Please welcome the incredible Jose Andres. Hello, Drew, how are you? Oh my God, I am such an Uber fan. So this is our first cookbook club and this came out last year. I already have this in my collection. And um, can you talk about the cookbook that you're going to suggest for cookbook clubs so that you're gonna turn us all on to? Thank you for showing that. But one of my favorite cookbooks, I, I love history and I have a big collection of old books but uh, for me, it was very important as an immigrant to learn more about the history of America through its cooking. And this is my favorite, the food of a younger land of Mark Kurlansky. If you want to know what America was eating at the beginning of the 1900s, here is a compilation of stories, essays that he found uh, in the Library of the Congress. Um, because after the WPA, the World Progress Administration, I'm, I'm too young to be alive when that happened, they created a group called America Eats, where they were paying writers to document what traditions were all across the 50 states. So here you're gonna be finding amazing stories of America that America doesn't know about. So it's an origin book, a historical book, and a book with recipes. I think this is an incredible way, a profound way, if you will, to kick off Cookbook Club. Okay, you are such an important person on this planet with what you're doing with your life. Uh, well, uh, let me tell you, Drew, thank you, but uh, I, I'm not a hero. I, I'm just one cook that I'm very lucky to be surrounded by amazing people, many of them cooks and chefs and volunteers that through, through the wall when there is a fire, we show up. We believe that sometimes a plate of food can be the beginning of a better tomorrow. So you will see us after hurricanes, earthquakes, explosions. And quite frankly, I have a team that they don't deserve and I'm so honored to be next to them trying to provide food to people in need. Well, listen, really, you are a game changer for our planet. The way you show up for people, the effectiveness, the galvanizing and organizing, the doing that you do, it is a true game changer. Sometimes when you need people to take care of uh, injured, after a hurricane, you send doctors and nurses. When you need to rescue people, you send first responders and firefighters. When you need to feed people, who you should send? Well, this is simple. It's cooks like me all around America, all around the world, that we put our know-how to feed not only the few in our restaurants, but to try to feed the many after disasters. Simple. Well, you are a total inspiration to me and everyone else.